Inzam Bonitua, Zamra Indian Desis. In this video, let us continue with the Gossidal method, knowing the pitfalls that uh, we learned from the previous video. So, Gossidal method, example number two, given the systems of equation, following. Uh, then, uh, because of this, we can uh, put this in the matrix form, the coefficient. In matrix form is the following. So matrix A. Those are the coefficient. And uh, with an initial guess of x1, x2, x3, which is uh, equal to 1, 0, 1, will the solution converge using the Gauss-Seidel method? So let us verify. So checking if the coefficient matrix is diagonally dominant. This is how we check if the coefficient matrix is uh, diagonally dominant. If this is diagonally dominant, then we can uh, say that the matrix converts. Okay? So diagonally dominant. So A11 is equal to 12. Of course, as you can see, this uh, 12 must be equal or greater than a, A, 1, 2, which is 3, plus uh, A, 1, 3, which is uh, 5, so 8. So 12 is greater than 8, so that is correct. And also, the next row is A, 2, 2, which is 5. This is must be equal to or greater than A, 2, 1, which is 1. Okay, is 1 plus this one is four, so five is greater. So this is also correct because five is greater than four. For this one, three plus five is eight, so 12 is greater than eight, so 12 is greater than eight. It satisfies, but uh, on the number three, third row, 13 must be greater than three plus seven, that is 10, so that is correct. So therefore, the inequalities are all true, and uh, at least one row is strictly greater than, okay? Strictly greater than uh, <clears throat> at least one row. Therefore, the solution should converge using Gauss-Seidel method. Okay, so this is how we test the, the uh, matrix if it is diagonally dominant so that we know if we use the Gauss-Seidel method, it would converge. Okay, so we verify. So let us continue All right in the equation. We have to solve the equation with an initial guess. <laughs> with an initial guess of one zero one. So. Using that initial guess, let us uh, form the set of uh, equation to solve for. It's very easy to form this equation because you just have to what? To put all the other terms on the other side, it will become negative 3x2, it will become positive x3 and divide by 12. So that uh, is the first equation here. For second equation, it's also this will become negative, this will become negative. So this will become uh, negative x1, and this will become negative x3, one divided by 5. So that is very easy to, to do it manually. Okay, there is a rule. Okay, so and uh, calculating those value so that we can update the value iteratively so use the initial so we have following we have the following initial uh, the value after first iteration so we have this okay, okay let's uh, go to the next uh, computation of uh, absolute relative error so the highest one is 100 so 100 absolute relative error okay so absolute relative error. So we have the current minus previous divided by the current. 
current minus previous will be current. Okay, so these are the values. Current value, current estimate or previous estimate divided by the current uh, estimate. So 100 is the maximum uh, relative error. Okay, next iteration. So we have now the updated value. So again, do the substitution. So we have the following value after second iteration. So let's do the uh, uh, absolute relative error. So we have what? The maximum here is 240 percent. Okay. This is much larger than the maximum absolute relative error obtained in iteration one. Is this a problem? Okay. Okay. So 100 on the first iteration, but now it is 240. So let us uh, do it up to six iteration. So doing it up to six iteration, again, you have to do it is your practice assignment. Okay. Doing it after uh, six alteration open, see that the error substantially, substantially decreased from 100. It uh, becomes greater to 240, but go back to decrease to 80, then 21. Here, 21, 4, and 0.7% error. 0.7% error. Very small error. Okay. And then, while the other uh, are uh, even lesser amount of error, 0 0.1, 0 0.11 percent error. This is 0 0.001 percent error. Okay, so therefore uh, it is converging. Okay, the solution obtained is uh, actually close enough to the actual solution, exact solution of one three four. Okay, our answer is very close enough to the actual solution after six iteration. Okay, and uh, by this, uh, try to uh, do this uh, practice problem solving. And see you next uh, video. This is your professor, Dr. Uh, AP, Preaching Engineering for Nation Building.